Well, look who the Allegheny Journal has found. Delegate Terry Austin and Ray Keen, and we're here at the campsite cook-off on Saturday, October the 12th. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And Appreciate it. And last night, uh, Delegate Austin, you're one of the you're one of the competitors here, and the meats were revealed. It's it's a secret <laughs> until the Friday before. So, what are you cooking? Well, we had a 27 pound fresh ham, which was a little overwhelming. Uh, we had some chickens that looked like they'd starved to death and not been butchered. We had uh, meat for meatloaf, and we had beef ribs. And you're ready. Well, we've already turned the ribs in. You've turned uh, the ribs in. Yep. The cook has. I'm not the cook. Oh, you're not the cook. Yeah, I just, I just. Uh, Associate. Offer a moral support, let's say, <laughs> encouragement. <laughs> well, can you give us a feel for one of the secrets of, of your aversion as opposed to any of the Oh, other it's things? all in the sauce. It's, it's in the sauce, yeah. And, and, is and this a family sauce? Or? No, it's a friend of mine who's a deputy in Botetourt County in the Sheriff's Department over there, and uh, he's he's quite the cook. He cooks for us all the time back home, and, and so he likes to do this. Now, his, is this a sauce unique to, for example, ribs? He created, no, chicken? he's using it on both the ham and the ribs. Okay. So, yeah. Ray, how's the competition looking today? Well, we just got the first meat turn ins for ribs. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty tight. It's going to be tough. Okay. Uh, We'll know more here once the judges get started, but I know they've already sampled sampled a few and they're, they're putting some back to take home with them. So they said, we want to keep this, we want to keep this, and can y'all bring us a container? So, so would, you we agree, can. would you agree it's all in the sauce? Well, I'd say, and, and the temperatures, keeping the, keeping the meat at the proper temperature as you cook it so you don't overcook it or undercook it, and then the preparation and the application of the sauce. And the presentation, my wife and, and my friend Scott Beer's wife, Mary Best, does that presentation, putting it in the box. And so, you know, it's all fun. We have fun. Well, this is all for a good cause, too. And Ray and his associates have, have been working for months to, to make it. And the proceeds will go, Ray, as you said, for additional park improvements? Yeah, right. It all goes to the, that Douthat Speed Group, which stands for State Park Environmental Education Group. We are Douthat's nonprofit 501c3 organization. Uh, we raise funds for the park. We try to make improvements to the park. But keep in mind, the kids first. And education. And they and do a phenomenal job. I mean, it's amazing what this community does to support this park. As you know, as you know, this is one of the seven original state parks. And uh, probably the prettiest park, I think, in the park system. And it's because of this community and what these guys do to help maintain and keep it that way. With a little help from Richmond, too. Well, we try, but you know, we, we typically get in the way. But, you know, <laughs> these guys get it done. So I, I'm getting ready here in about nine minutes. I'm gonna throw him another curveball. <laughs> okay. Make things more interesting. It, do you want to give us a hint, or is this a good well? <laughs> we we combined this with Apple Days uh, this year, and so there's your hint. <laughs> That's something <laughs> pertaining to Apple. <laughs> there, okay. <laughs> well, thanks very much uh, to both of you for taking time to Thank speak. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry, for what you do for the community. Also.